As a practicing dentist, our goal is to establish patient's articulation and occlusion. And it's been said the best articulator is actually the patient's jaw and movement because it encompasses the temporal mandibular joint, encompasses the muscles, and of course the neurosensory feedback. So with the MetaSmile MR, we have this ability to create a virtual articulation and more importantly, give us uh, very dynamic mandibular jaw movements and protrusive and lateral excursive movements which translates that when we fabricate dental prosthesis in the laboratory, it's a lot more accurate and a lot more precise to that specific jaw, temporal mandibular joint, the muscles, and activations. And in that way, when we insert our final dental prosthesis, there should be little to no adjustments of um, our final restorations and which will again improve the patient's experience. And the ultimate goal is for us to re-establish as closely as possible the patient's natural dentition. With this jaw relations record and this virtual articulation, it is our objective to streamline and again to communicate this to the lab and or to the patient. So that ultimate goal is that we can get to that end goal of having the patient being very comfortable in a very short number of appointments and number of visits. And of course, uh, I think anybody that's in restorative dentistry, anybody that's doing um, full mouth reconstructions, any orthodontic alignments and so on and so forth, it's literally everybody and every, every patient and every clinician should be involved in this. The missing link and the game changer here is that we have a virtual um, articulation, which again encompasses the neural sensory feedback from the patient's muscles, from the TMD, uh, TMJ, and every patient's anatomy is slightly different. So when we incorporate all these dynamic movements these are the real game changers in my opinion that again, when we fabricate any of, any of the dental prosthesis, that we minimize and or we replicate what's in the patient's anatomy, which translates to the morphology, the anatomy and the form and function that the patient will experience with our dental prosthesis. So to me, this is the missing link for many, many years, decades. I, I think this uh, MetaSmile really is um, the final frontier, if you will. We certainly have a lot of diagnostics and cone beams. We have a lot of intro scanners. We have, of course, dental materials, dental technologies that have their own um, functionalities and have their own uses. But we need something to tie everything together. And what we need is the patient's articulation and head. So again, the old saying in prosthodontics is, the best articulator is the patient's head. Now we really can literally almost use that virtual articulation and do as much work as we can on benchtop, which translates to little to no adjustments clinically, and that's the objectives. When patients come in in a non-invasive, comfortable environment, and for us to capture that very critical information and for us to fabricate dental prosthesis gets inserted to little to no adjustments and the patient's comfortable and, and back to chewing and living life. And our ultimate goal is to improve the patient's quality of life. And I think this is something that's going to really impact our clinical dentistry and of course, hopefully the patient's experience.